Tesla has faced calmer times. With declining sales and Elon Musk at the center of several political controversies, the electric car giant lost ground to a competitor many still underestimated, China's BYD. For those who follow the industry, this almost sounds like an earthquake. After all, for years, Tesla reigned supreme. But the tables have turned, and now the American brand must play catch-up. It is into this turbulent landscape that the Model 2 emerges, a game-changer that promises not only to shake up the market, but also to redefine the way we think about affordable electric cars. The Model 2 is more than a promise. It's a survival gamble. With a suggested retail price of just $24,990, it enters the scene as Tesla's cheapest model ever planned. And it's no exaggeration to say that millions of people are just waiting for the chance to get their hands on it. Anticipation is so high that Elon Musk has already stated that the goal is to sell no less than 42 million units. It's a bold, almost absurd number, but it reveals the brand's ambition. This scale of production has never been seen before, either at Tesla or in any other major electric project. The pressure on this car is immense. It's as if the company's future is being forced into a single model, a car that needs to be affordable, efficient, beautiful, practical, and, above all, desirable. It's not easy to deliver all of this in a package costing less than $25,000. But Tesla knows it doesn't have much choice. The market has changed, competition has tightened, and subsidies in the U.S. are coming to an end. The old formula of premium technology for the few needs an update, and fast. One of the keys to making the Model 2 successful is cutting costs without compromising the Tesla essence. This means ditching luxuries and focusing on what really matters to the average driver. Decent range, fast charging, and a look that still makes the neighbors do a double take. Elon Musk understands, like few others, the importance of desirability, even in budget products. The Model 2 can't feel like an entry-level car. It needs to feel like the future, even if it costs less than a basic gasoline sedan. Tesla's predicament becomes even more apparent when looking at its recent financial performance. Revenue plummeted more than 70% in the first quarter of 2025, and second quarter figures show no sign of recovery. This raises a red flag. Either the Model 2 arrives soon and wins hearts and wallets, or Tesla risks losing the prominence it took more than a decade to build. It's a critical moment, one that defines the course of an entire company. Interestingly, even with all these challenges, Tesla is still seen by many as a benchmark. The brand's prestige remains strong, and the fan base is loyal. But this prestige doesn't pay bills or keep shares rising. What will secure the future now is the ability to deliver an affordable car on a large scale. And the Model 2 carries that weight. Some say this project is the most important in Tesla's history. Perhaps it is. Everything is being built around it. Factories, partnerships, and even global logistics are being rethought. If there's one component that could determine the Model 2's success or failure, it's the battery. No matter the vehicle's futuristic design, speed, or connectivity, if the battery is too expensive, too heavy, or comes from the wrong source, the entire project could fall apart. And that's precisely why Tesla rushed to build a new lithium iron phosphate battery factory, the so-called LFP, right there in the United States, in Nevada. A surefire, almost silent move, but one that could completely change the game. The reason behind this factory is very simple, to cut costs and avoid China's import tariffs. For many, this part goes unnoticed, but taxes on Chinese components can dramatically increase the final price of an electric car. And with the Model 2 selling for less than $25,000, every penny counts. Importing batteries from China, where most LFP production takes place, would simply make the project unviable. So Elon Musk decided to bring the production line to his backyard. This new factory isn't just a structure filled with robots and conveyor belts. It represents autonomy. For the first time, 
Tesla will have full control over the production of its LFP batteries in the United States. This means technological and strategic independence. And of course, less headaches from the ongoing trade war between the US and China. It's as if the company is building a fortress to protect the Model 2 from any external turbulence. The curious thing is that, although this factory is strategic, many people didn't even know it was being built. It was a relatively low-key process. No big bombastic announcements, no fireworks displays. They simply began erecting the warehouses, installing the machinery, and training the employees. And today, it's practically ready, with all the equipment shipped directly from China. Ironically, from the world's largest battery manufacturer, CATL. Tesla not only purchased KTL's equipment, but is also bringing in Chinese engineers to train the Americans in the production process. It's a technical exchange between rival powers. Chinese experts teach how to assemble, configure, and optimize the production line, and then return home. Tesla then continues to operate everything with local labor, paying only a royalty fee, something around 5%. It's a pragmatic, smart, and necessary solution. This should significantly reduce the cost of each LFP battery. While a nickel-cobalt battery can cost as little as $120 per kilodus, an LFP battery costs around $85. In the case of the Model 2, which will use a 53T Hydery T kilodus battery, this represents approximately $4,500 in energy costs alone. And it's precisely this reduction that will allow the car to be sold profitably even without the federal incentive. When it comes to scale, a few cents can add up. Few people know, but the LFP batteries that are now essential for the Model 2 were actually an American invention. Yes, that's right. This technology originated in the United States, but for some incomprehensible reason, major Western companies simply ignored its potential. Meanwhile, the Chinese saw a golden opportunity and dove in headfirst. And it was precisely this bold vision that made China the global leader in LFP batteries. It's as if the United States had forgotten a gold mine in its backyard and only now realized the treasure it missed. Patel, currently the world's largest battery producer, was one of the companies that invested heavily in this technology. And it was no surprise. Despite having a lower energy density than NMC batteries, LFPs offer durability, safety, and a much more affordable cost. The Chinese logic was simple and straightforward. While the West sought more powerful and expensive batteries, China invested in something that could be mass-produced and highly reliable. The result? Today, over 70% of the world's LFP batteries come from China. It's ironic to think that Tesla is now chasing the same technology that was discarded for so long in the US. And to make the story even more intriguing, it's bringing everything back from China, from the equipment to the engineers who will teach it how to operate the production line. It sounds like a movie script. The forgotten invention returns home, but in the hands of those who believed in it first. And Elon Musk in this story is the character trying to rewrite history with a touch of technological revenge. For years, nickel, manganese, and cobalt batteries dominated the Western market. They are powerful, yes, but expensive, unstable under certain conditions, and rely on scarce and controversial materials like cobalt. LFP batteries, on the other hand, don't require these elements and are also much safer, especially in extreme temperatures. The difference is that, for a long time, American engineers viewed low density as an unacceptable weakness, but that's changing and fast. Advances in engineering techniques combined with vehicle optimization have shown that energy density is no longer such a serious issue. This is especially true for city cars, where a range of 250 to 300 miles already covers more than most drivers' needs. Aerodynamic efficiency, energy management software, and reduced vehicle weight offset what was once considered a major drawback. And that's precisely where the Model 2 shines. The shift in mindset is clear. 
What was once considered a second-rate battery is now the star of the new generation of electric vehicles. And it's not just Tesla that's watching. Other automakers have also begun investing in their own LFP factories in the US and Europe. But, once again, Elon Musk is trying to get ahead. He doesn't just want to use LFP, he wants to dominate production, reduce costs as much as possible, and scale like no one else has. The 42 million Model 2 target isn't an exaggeration. It's part of a larger plan, with the right battery on the table. The next question is, will it fit in your budget? And that's where LFPs show why they're gaining traction so quickly. With an average cost of just $85 per kilowatt hour, they're drastically cheaper than NMCs, which can reach $120. This may seem like a simple number, but on a scale of millions of cars, it's a significant difference. In the case of the Model 2, which will have a 53 kWh battery, the estimated cost is around $4,500. This represents about 18% of the car's total cost, the kind of ratio that makes any executive smile. It's not just the price that makes LFPs an attractive choice. They're also more stable and safer. This means less risk of overheating, less wear and tear during charging cycles, and a much longer lifespan. And because they don't use expensive and problematic materials like cobalt, they're not only cheaper, but also more ethical from an environmental and social perspective. Tesla, which has always marketed itself as a brand of the future, couldn't ignore this factor. Sustainability also weighs heavily on the scales of electric car purchases. Another interesting detail is that, despite the slightly lower energy density than NMCs, Tesla manages to compensate for this with efficiency in the car's design. The lightweight structure, aerodynamic design, and integration with advanced energy management software mean the Model 2 delivers more fuel per charge than many competitors with more expensive batteries. The estimated range is around 280 miles, more than enough for most urban routines and even medium distance trips. With this configuration, the Model 2 enters a rare market segment, affordable vehicles that still deliver a complete electric experience. It's not a bare bones car, as many would expect from a budget electric vehicle. It carries Tesla's DNA, including performance, connectivity, and a charging network that's already a global benchmark. And best of all, it no longer relies on the $7,500 tax credit, which was phased out starting in October 2025. The car needs to stand on its own two feet, and LFPs are one of the reasons this now seems possible. Elon Musk knew he could no longer rely on government incentives. And to be honest, relying on subsidies has always been a tightrope walk. By strategically using LFP, Tesla created a path to maintain competitive pricing without needing outside help. This is rare, especially in a market where almost every automaker still relies on public policies to make ends meet. The Model 2 aims to prove that it's possible to offer a true electric car with good range for under $25,000 and without gimmicks, without fine print, to achieve a production level that would make the Model 2 truly affordable. Tesla needed to go beyond battery selection. It had to rethink its entire manufacturing logic. And this is where one of the most fascinating parts of this story comes in. The LFP battery factory in Nevada is practically an assembly line of the future. With a 95% degree of automation, the plant operates like a living organism, synchronized, precise, and virtually waste-free. Everything there seems to have been designed for a single purpose, to do more, with less, and with maximum efficiency. Artificial intelligence runs the show. From raw material preparation to final quality testing, Processes are monitored by high-precision sensors and algorithms that learn with each cycle. The machines know the exact amount of lithium, iron, and phosphate that needs to be mixed and can detect even the smallest imperfections in the electrodes. This ensures not only a quality standard almost unattainable manually, but also impressive production speed. It's no exaggeration to say that this factory is more like software than a traditional industry. Besides automation, 
The commitment to sustainability is another differentiator. The energy that powers the factory comes from renewable sources, primarily solar and geothermal. No more burning coal or relying on gas-fired power plants. Tesla is truly striving to build a clean production cycle, from source to finished product. This aligns with the company's core proposition. It's not enough to sell electric cars. It's also necessary to produce sustainably. And let's face it, this carries enormous symbolic weight at a time when consumers are increasingly aware of brands' environmental impact. One of the most interesting secrets of this entire process lies in the cell structure. Tesla decided to adopt a cell-to-pack design, eliminating the intermediate modules between the cells and the battery pack. This reduces overall weight, improves energy density, and simplifies assembly. It seems like a technical detail, and it is. But in the electric world, this translates into greater range and lower costs. And since the Model 2 needs to strike a nearly impossible balance between price and performance, every screw saved makes a difference. During the manufacturing process, batteries undergo a step called electrochemical activation. This is when they receive their first charge and have their performance precisely tested. If anything isn't within parameters, the cell is discarded before being added to the final pack. This prevents rework, future failures, and ensures the safety Tesla values so highly in its vehicles. The goal isn't just to make a cheap battery. It's to make a cheap battery that lasts, works well, and won't explode in anyone's trunk. Now that the powertrain is in place, what's really starting to take shape is the Model 2's body. Light, simple, and meticulously designed for affordability. The vision is clear. A car that delivers the essentials of a Tesla without the luxuries that drive up the price of more sophisticated models. The design will be more compact, about 20% smaller than the Model Y, which, in addition to making production cheaper, makes it easier to use in cities. It's as if Tesla wanted to create the iPhone SE of electric cars, smaller, functional, and yet with the soul of the original. The look also promises to be striking. Despite its focus on simplicity, the Model 2 is expected to inherit futuristic features reminiscent of the Cybertruck at the rear with a single light bar and clean lines. The camouflaged images that circulated show a flatter car with 18-inch wheels and a body that appears to have only two doors. That's right, two doors. Something unusual for Tesla models, but which makes perfect sense to reduce costs and reinforce the model's urban and practical proposal. Inside, the simplicity continues. No 256 ambient lighting colors or double-glazed soundproofing. The Model 2 is expected to feature single-pane windows, cloth seats, and a more basic sound system with seven speakers, a significant reduction from the 14 in the Model Y. Every choice was made to save money, eliminating heated seats, removing superfluous features, and opting for a minimalist finish. But the most interesting thing? Even so, everything indicates it will still be equipped with the autonomous driving package. One detail few people realize is the impact the engine has on this project. Tesla has been working for some time on an electric motor that costs just